start this episode, people. Um, yes, I've got Marche, Rocket, and Sabu on it in a match. As they're on the one-night deal, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, coming up in a few weeks, you've got Battleground, Armageddon, TLC. Right, they're on the same night's nice week, but you're also going to have Super Show and Evolution. So starting from Battleground, you've got one, two, three, four, and five weeks of pay-per-views. So for five week a period, um, you're going to have pay-per-views on a Sunday night. Now, I do understand that people are a bit confused why this is still in September. That's because my computer broke and stuff. So we're just coming out of September now, and we're Battleground next week. Um, so yeah, we'll be behind real life WWE, and things might be the same, things might be different. I, well, things are definitely different, as you will probably know if you're just joining us. But I appreciate our tail breast and and crowd eat Sabu, defeat Marshy Rocker by Pinfall. In 731 by Pimble, the Arab our, our being the school crusher. Now, Marshy Rocket was on a one night deal. He got 43, Sabu 31. You could be looking at a uh, power trip to NXT, my friend. 39D minus. So expect to see him turn up on more shows from NXT. In the future, we had some wrestling, a little heat. La. So, of course, this is WWE Smackdown Live. So, this is episode. I think this is episode. Jeez. We're, we're already done. This will confuse you guys. We've already, we're already on 16 episodes already. So I'll tell you how much time and effort this takes. 11,248 um, in Johnny Worthen Arena. In the future, bad surprise, and it'll heat Lana, Nikki Cross, and Tamina defeat Naomi, Charlotte Flair, and Asuka. In 7.46, when Lana defeat Asuka by Pivot Jumping Switch Kick. Asuka 64, Charlotte Flair 66, Naomi 49, Tamina 47, Nikki Cross 41, Lana 37, Noah Queen 56, C minus. In a P show, Belved, Subpar Wrestling, and non is crowd Nick Jackson defeat Travis Banks in 7.35 by Pimmel, the 4.50 splash. Nick Jackson, 36, Travis Banks, 33, David Zolkul, face got electronic weight. Noah Cruz, he's also injured, so he's working for that. In a P show, Decent Wrestling, Bullet or Heat, Alexander Wolf defeats Sin Cara in 8.06 by Pimmel, the Death Valley Bomb. Sin Cara, 64, Alexander Wolf, 48. Uh, Cara improving the performance of 62C. In a piece of bad subpar wrestling, but he Ethan Carter the third and Sun Yul Singh defeat Ty Jones and Adrian Siamalas. In eight four, and Ethan Carter the third defeat Adrian Siamalas by pin for the sweet meat sizzler. In Siamalas sixty six, Ty Jones is fifty two, Sun Yul Singh fifty one, EC three sixty three. Uh, no appearance, Sun Yul Singh still not suited with gimmick. Well, that's nice. He's going to still have it, I ain't changing it. This we'll see until at least December if he comes here, until at least uh, Survivor Series. So yeah. In a piece of bad, decent wrestling, but I'm going to cheat Johnny Gagano defeat Christico in 7.35 by Pimble the Hurt Stoner. Johnny Gagano 60, Christico 77. Mm, Christico improved in performance at 75B minus. And then we open up the night with Samoa Joe and Shane Mann. So yeah, this is the opening of the main show. Last night, the ref was stupid. My foot was under the rope. Look at this photo. And then the photo comes on the big Titans run and it clearly shows Joe's foot's under the ropes. This would not have happened on Raw. You see, Shane has no control of his refs. Armageddon or Super Show, I don't. Down. Super Show, down. I want Kenny one more time in a Falls kind of a match. This will happen live. I'm going to win the WWE Championship. And the show goes, fine. I'm going to give you the benefit of the day. The benef give you the benefit of the debut at Armageddon. You get your rematch. Benefit of the doubt. Get out. I'm going to get, the re you get your rematch. Um, rematch. I'm going to get your rematch. So Armageddon, um, a lot of the matches do are being booked. Along with John Cena's and Daniel Bryan's second match, which does we do get discussed about this evening. Um, as you all know, I like to do not hardcore based matches because you know things are not happening, and you know if you, the main event will suck if you just do that. So it'll be a fourth count anywhere match, and then it's going to force that in my ear. It's going to be a regular one, and then oh, I've probably just done the fans being the weapons reg match. Yep. Uh, even though I'll probably already do not matter because we can do a fan bring the weapons match at some point in the future. Um, but yeah, so it will be Omega defending that title against Mojo. And like I said, you can tell the WWE is very different by just looking at that lineup of main eventers across the board. I'll save that. That's the main event of the night. And then he goes, show. Sure. It'll be Kenny versus whoever wins the WWE World of Retire match at Backlash. So on that show, I'll find you someone to face. So yeah, uh, um, so instead of Survivor Series being Raw vs Smackdown, Super Showdown in Australia is going to be Raw vs Smackdown all through the night. And I have some big plans for who's going to win the title. 
And Joe goes, I don't care who you put in front of me. I'm going to put them through how Mark my words, Kenny Omega, that tile will be coming home with me at Armageddon. And he just drops Michael Lee's ring in 82B. Not a bad opener. In about a decent wrestling number of um, Impact Wrestling champs are going crazy. Eddie Edwards defeated Eli Drake in 7 or 8 by pinning the forward Longborough. Eli Drake 57, Eddie Edwards 69. No work permits. Dinner for two, AA Eddie Edwards. C7C plus, where's the lead showing you need it? In about battle of Subpar Wrestling, a little heat. The Iconics defeat Mandy Rose and Carmelo in 742, and Billy Kay defeat Mandy Rose by pinning with their boyfriend Steeler. Carmelo 45, Mandy Rose 45, Payton Royce 53, Billy Kay 57. Kay and Rumble and Mandy Rose in performance, so 55C minus. And then we see, oh, Matt Jackson's in the back. Awesome. It's time for the Elite. Eddie and Samoa Joe, I don't see these titles around your waist, they're around ours. Everybody, Matt is here. In 20 days, the Unbox will be back. You see, sod the undisputed era, but the elite is where it's at. I don't care if it's if it's Brock Lesnar or Ricardo, I'll beat both of them. And Samoa Joe, I'm again going to beat you and still be the WWE champion. And Cody goes, you know, I'm again Eddie, it's going to be me versus you in a steel cage match. And it's going to be me running out with the title. Adam Cole, Drew McIntyre, I'm going to kick your ass at Super Showdown. So we've got hints of that, that's Battleground. Um, I'm again, we're going to have a steel Cage escape, that'll be the regular one. Yep, because I know there's regular ones in this database, and that, that will be um, Eddie Edwards, wherever Eddie Edwards is. I think he's a mid carder. If I'm actually, I might be wrong. No, there is Eddie Edwards, Eddie Edwards, and Cody Rhodes inside a steel cage. Now, I am going to be doing Hell and Cell matches, but only when they deserve to be Hell and Cell matches. Right now, I've got no store lines or anything that does want to be in a Hell and Cell, so there's not going to be Hell and Cell match, but. Still cage match, I like, because, you know, it stops the elite getting involved. In about that decent wrestling, but in my cheat, Sanity defeated the Bludgeon Brothers at 632, and Kenny and Dane defeated Rowan by pin for the Van River Boot. Rowan 47, Harper 58, Kenny and Dane 50, Eric Young 56. No work for him, so 650, 60 minus. And then Sanity is celebrating the victory in the ring, when Mark and Jay Briscoe and Sammy Callum on tack beating him down to the map. So you can use the storyline, um, you know, Smackdown vs. the Billy storyline, and that will be continuing at Super Showdown. And this time it will be. Um, boo, 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 boo. Have we got one? The first of its kind on the first of its kind on the WWE show. I know that this match might not go down. I'm not going to change it if we have got one. Right, it's going to be a three versus. So this is a super showdown in Australia. We're going to have the first ever WWE um, Steel K um, Lethal Lockdown match. It's not going to be called the Lethal Lockdown. It's going to be called a. Some, I don't know what would WWE call Lethal Lockdown. A Warfare Prison match. I'll probably forget that and call it Lethal Lockdown. Um, as being as we've um, got a working relationship um, with Impact Wrestling, um, I think that might work, but I don't think that will work. Sammy Caron, Alexander Wolf, Sanity versus them guys. There you go. Inside a um, Sanity Prison match. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to actually call it that. So, inside a Sanity Prison match. They just become a prison match after a while because Sanity might not be in them. 44D, and we've got a Sanity prison match out of it. Um, so Rennie Young's in the back. She goes, joining me at this time, Smackdown Live Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. She goes, thanks for Nenny. Too nice to go at Bad Blood. I kicked that little bitch's ass. She'll have everything. She's Little Miss Queen B, not B. She's not, because the title, because the title on, sits on my, sh shits on my shoulder. It's meant to sit, sits on my shoulder. We used to be friends, but that ended. That ended, and that's where it all, where it, Ended, and that's where it'll be. Armageddon or Elimin. But she ended that, and where it be Armageddon or Evolution, how even Super Showdown, I'm going to kick the ass and keep my title. Now, I am going to be booking this match for Evolution. Um, already on, we've already got some matches booked for Evolution, if I know. I ain't inspired Evolution right. But there's also going to be another cage match, and. 
It's going to be Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair for that title. That is going to be your main event of Evolution. SmackDown Live will main event it. It's going to only be a free, I'm only going to do it as a three and a half hour show. The 61C there, not bad. In about the decent wrestling with the Machis, Sammy Callan defeated Jeff Hardy in 7-12 by the headlock driver. Jeff Hardy 64, Callan 50. No work room 61C. Can't complain. In about that decent wrestling with the Machis, Tomasa Champa defeated John Morrison 7-15 by the Project Champa. Morrison 74, Tomasa Champa 52. No work room 71C+. And then Johnny Gargano comes out after the match and goes, It's time for you to see that two nights ago I was a better superstar. It's going to be me and always and always coming out on top. I don't care if this if this is the hardcore title. I'm going to keep it around my waist. It's going to be a superstar title. And it's going to be all mine. I'm going to give you another opportunity, and I'm going to give two from Raw. Take this title in a four-way steel cage match at Super Showdown Live. Oh, well, we're going to have two cage matches at Super Showdown Live. One with a roof in the Sunny to Prison match, and then we're also going to have another one, which is the equivalent of what I wanted to do. Uh, 4v4, 5-way, nope, 4-way please, thank you, cage escape, cage pin and sub, there we go, so in this match will be um, Johnny Gangano, if we're going to find him, Johnny Gangano w alongside Tommaso Ciampa, um, British star Jimmy Havoc will also be in that match, representing Smackdown Alive alongside so when you're not expecting to be in the match, but he's going to be in the match anyway, if I can find him. Can we sort of this bit easier, please? Uh, um, Raw. I'm trying to find someone off on the Raw brand who I can throw into the match. Uh, no, not you. Not you. I'm not really sure, really. Yeah, Kurt Hawkins. Yeah. Oh no, cash is so new. There you go. Four way cage, nice. 56, 55 C minus, not bad for them too. In about that decent amount of similar to Machine, the Uso defeated the Royal Raiders when Jimmy Uso defeated Rain Road by another double super kit. Rain Road 45, Hanson 48, Jimmy Uso 69, Jay Uso 65. No approves. He's going to be playing on a few more shows until uh, Young Bucks are back. 61C, can't complain. And then Cesaro's in the back and he goes, Look. At you, the loser you killed the bar and proved it was me who brought the success of the team. I'm going to stand with the fans who have supported me all this time. I'm going to, I'm going to kill you. I'm go it's going to, and it's going to be a war like no other WWE's seen. It's going to end with one of us so injured it's going to be a blip. So injured they're on the shelf. Or worse, it's going to be a bloodbath. 69C plus, not bad. In about that, so, uh, great wrestling, a decent match of the crowd. Austin Aries defeated John Cena in 811 by pin for the 450 splash. John Cena 89. Also, no 65, no recurring 72B minus. In about a decent rest of the middle of the, the club defeated the clones in 738 when Luke Gallows defeated Prime Clone by Pill the Magic Killer. Uh, Epico 65, Primo 63, Carl Anderson 65, Luke Gallows 63. No recurring 66C plus, not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, Jango Bayern. Two nights, two nights ago, two nights ago, round one, I won of the best of three at Series at Armageddon. Best three series. Armageddon round two now. If, now if I win, I'm going to be over Joy. You see, Cena, the end, is, end of your career is coming, and it's time you stepped aside and left the comp and left the company. The fans had enough of you, and Armageddon. I know you're going to be caught, you're going to be coming at me a lot harder, and it's going to be a fight. But I'm not going to lose. I'm going to stand tall. Yes, yes, yes. 76 by minus. I had bits on after writing them. In about it's a bad superb wrestling and good heat, Seamus defeats Daniel Bryan in 7.38 by putting the bro kick. Seamus 86, Daniel Bryan 87, no up on 73 B minus. Then Roos is in the back and he gets an 874 B minus, which is not bad for Roos. I've been on Miz twice and now he wants to say I'm a cheat on Twitter. You want to bring it, you want to bring it fine, I'm again. It's going to be a first blood match and it's not going to hold back. I'm going to make him bleed. Ooh, first blood match. Yes, I am being crazy. Leave me alone. This is my WWE now. You know, there's no Vince McMahon controlling the pack anymore. It's just gonna... It's all exploding. Oh. So... I came to play. It's only 4B-. minus. In about that decent wrestling with our cheats out on Benjamin to feed R-Truth by Pinfall the Pay Dirt. Um, Shout Benjamin 72, R-Truth 49. No record of 66C+. Plus. In a bad, bad, decent wrestling, but I'm going to cheat. Becky Lynch defeats Sonny Deville in 8-14 by pinfall with a pump handle slam, following Bosch to from Charlotte Flair. 
which makes sense on the two of her, not women's SmackDown with women's title. Sonny Deville, 50, Becky Lynch, 65, a 60C, not bad. And John Marston's back and he goes, Two nights ago I beat Sean Benjamin, I came back to WWE for two changes. Instead I got the same old idiots telling me I was dumb, so was everybody else. So was everybody else dumb? I'm going to be a better superstar, I'm going to be a new John Marston, I hope you're ready for the change of me. 66C+. And then about that good heat and de- um, great wrestling in good heat, the Miz defeats Cesaro in 8-13 by a pin for the crush, school crushing finale. The Miz 8-69, Cesaro 85, no record appearances, 72B minus. And Austin Aries in the back and he goes, Ronnie Young goes, everybody, Austin Aries. So two nights ago I returned and kicked ass. I came back on a promise and tonight I beat him, the man, the face of WWE, John Cena. He said I'm the greatest star that has ever lived and it's going to be a long road but I'm going to kick ass and show Vince that he fucked up when he ran this, ran this place without me. Well, I think Austin Aries has gone a bit unscripted there and swore, so he so that was had to be beep. In about that decent wrestling, but don't cheat the New Day 2 defeat the Briscoes in 8.27. Big E defeat Jay Briscoe by the midnight hour. Uh, Mark Briscoe 59, Jay Briscoe 67, Big E 65, Xavier Wood 70. Mark improving in techno, 68C+. New Day is celebrating the ring when the Usos come in and beat them down to the mat. Um, it's 54C-, minus, and they will, of course, be defending those bouts against... Um, whoever wins the tag title match at Backlash. Now, at Armageddon, it will be New Day, hopefully. I think the original New Day will be back by then. If not, I will change it back. But hopefully the original New Day will be back and they will be taking on the Usos for the SmackDown tag team titles of 54C-. minus. In about that, great wrestling, great heat and good wrestling. Chris Joker defeat Roos with an 818 by Pinfall the Codebreaker after the distraction with the Miz. Bruce of 75, Jericho 75, Bruce of improving in performance of 73B minus. In about that great wrestling on D-Smash the crowd, Jay Lethal defeated Randy Orton of 747 by Pimps of Flying Elbow, Randy Orton 90, Lethal 72. He's also improving in performance of 70C plus. And then our main event tonight is Rick, Bobby, Cody Rhodes, Omega, Nakamura and Samoa Joe of 77B. Our main event gets a 77B as well. In a bad superb wrestling and great heat, Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omega defeats Mojo and Shinsuke Nakamura in 1950 when Kenny Omega defeats Mojo by pinning the cross Omega 91, uh, Cody 75, Shinsuke 84, Joe 92. No work appointments. Winner in the show there. Yes, thank you, Scott Armstrong. That's fine, whatever. Backstage keep blood, blood, blood. 76 B minus increased our popularity in 18 regions, but lost its popularity in 18 regions. Ooh, we're not doing that good at the moment. I think we're doing some struggling. Um, well, we'll see you guys live again for Monday Night Raw in a week's time. I hope you've enjoyed both SmackDown and Raw this week. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next week as it'll be the Go Home edition of Monday Night Raw before we go Backlash. Or is it back? No, it's Battleground. Why do I keep saying Backlash? It's Battleground. Anyway, I'll see you for the Go Home show before Battleground.